The M1 E3 Abrams represents the next big step in modern tank warfare, and it's packed with innovations that redefine what a main battle tank can achieve on the battlefield. The U.S. Army is transforming decades-old tank design philosophy, incorporating lessons learned from recent global conflicts. The latest version, the M1 E3, isn't just an incremental upgrade, it's a thorough reinvention. From its hybrid electric drivetrain to its advanced firepower and integration with AI systems, this new Abrams tank is designed to meet the evolving demands of modern warfare, balancing firepower, protection, and mobility in unprecedented ways. One of the most groundbreaking features of the M1 E3 Abrams is its hybrid electric drivetrain. This system marks a departure from traditional gas-guzzling engines. Historically, tanks have been incredibly fuel-hungry machines, with the Abrams in particular notorious for its low fuel efficiency. The hybrid electric drivetrain aims to cut fuel consumption by as much as 50%, which not only extends the operational range of the tank, but also lowers its logistical footprint on the battlefield. This is a crucial development, especially for long-range operations where supply lines are stretched thin. But the benefits of this new drivetrain go beyond fuel efficiency. The M1 E3's hybrid system also offers tactical advantages through what is known as a silent watch capability. In this mode, the tank can power down its loud, fuel-consuming engine while keeping its critical systems active. This allows the tank to maintain battlefield awareness and monitor its surroundings without drawing attention to its position, giving it a stealth advantage over enemy forces. The M1 E3 Abrams also incorporates a brand new XM360 cannon, a 120mm smoothbore gun that takes tank firepower to new heights. While the gun retains the same bore diameter as the existing Abrams main gun, the XM360 features electrothermal chemical ignition, a revolutionary technology that generates plasma to ignite the propellants with greater precision. This system delivers higher muzzle velocities and improved accuracy over long distances, turning the M1 E3 into an even more formidable force on the battlefield. The gun's ETC technology enables a staggering increase in muzzle energy, reaching around 17 megajoules a force comparable to a high-speed car crash, focused at a single point. To put it in perspective, that's more energy than a standard 140mm conventional tank gun can generate. This immense power is vital for penetrating modern armor, giving the M1 E3 the ability to take on the most heavily fortified enemy tanks and fortified positions. One of the most exciting potential features of the M1 E3 is the introduction of gun-launched anti-tank guided missiles. These missiles, fired directly from the tank's main cannon, could give the Abrams an unprecedented range in combat. ATGMs have been a staple of Russian and Soviet tank designs for decades, allowing their tanks to engage targets at extreme ranges, often well beyond the capabilities of standard tank rounds. While the U.S. Army experimented with this technology in the past, it never fully adopted it. However, advances in missile guidance and sensor technology make ATGMs a viable option once again, especially in scenarios where traditional line-of-sight engagements are not possible or practical. With these ATGMs, the M1 E3 Abrams would be capable of taking out enemy tanks, helicopters, and even low-flying aircraft from distances that would have been unthinkable in previous generations. This development would significantly expand the Abrams' operational flexibility, allowing it to strike from beyond the effective range of enemy weapon systems. The M1 E3 is also seeing a major redesign when it comes to crew operations and tank layout. One of the most notable changes is the shift from a four-person crew to a three-person crew, thanks to the addition of an autoloader. Traditionally, the Abrams required a dedicated loader to manually load the main gun, but the autoloader automates this process, freeing up space inside the tank and reducing the need for one crew member. This reduction in crew size doesn't just make the tank easier to operate, it also makes it more efficient in combat. By reducing the internal volume of the tank, less armor is needed to protect the crew, allowing the designers to reduce the overall weight of the vehicle. 
This change is a key part of the Army's goal to bring the M1E3's weight down to under 60 tons, comparable to the roughly 75 tons of the current M1A2 model. A lighter tank is more mobile and can traverse difficult terrain more easily, a vital advantage in regions where tanks might otherwise become bogged down. The autoloader also improves the tank's rate of fire, allowing the M1E3 to engage multiple targets more quickly than a human loader could manage. And unlike older Soviet designs, which suffered from safety issues due to exposed ammunition, the M1E3's autoloader keeps all of the tank's ammunition safely stored behind a blast-proof barrier, protecting the crew from catastrophic explosions. While the M1E3's firepower and mobility are impressive, Survivability is where the tank truly shines. The tank incorporates cutting-edge Active Protection Systems, or APS, that are designed to detect and intercept incoming missiles and rockets before they can reach the tank. These systems use a combination of radar, sensors, and AI to identify threats in real-time and launch countermeasures to neutralize them. APS has become a critical feature in modern armored warfare especially given the growing prevalence of precision-guided munitions and shoulder-fired anti-tank weapons. One of the most advanced APS systems being considered for the M1E3 is the Trophy System, which has already proven effective on Israeli tanks. The Trophy System uses small projectiles to intercept incoming missiles, effectively creating a protective bubble around the tank. However, the Army is working on improving this system to better counter new threats, such as drone swarms and loitering munitions, which pose a different kind of danger than traditional anti-tank missiles. In addition to the APS, the M1E3 will feature masking technologies that reduce the tank's thermal and electromagnetic signatures. This will make the tank harder to detect by enemy sensors, allowing it to operate more effectively in contested environments where stealth is a valuable asset. But perhaps the most forward-thinking aspect of the M1E3's design is its integration with unmanned and autonomous systems. The U.S. Army envisions a future where tanks like the M1E3 operate alongside robotic vehicles and drones forming a cohesive fighting force that can share information, scout enemy positions, and even engage targets autonomously. These unmanned systems can take on high-risk tasks such as clearing minefields or scouting dangerous terrain, reducing the risk to human crews. The M1E3 is designed to interface with these robotic systems seamlessly. AI-driven systems on board the tank will be able to analyze battlefield data in real time, making decisions faster and more accurately than a human crew could. This level of automation and coordination between manned and unmanned platforms represents a significant shift in how the Army plans to conduct armored warfare in the future. Of course, all of these innovations come with challenges. Developing such an advanced system requires significant time, money, and expertise. The M1E3 is expected to begin production in the early 2030s, and like many defense projects, it may face delays and cost overruns. However, much of the groundwork has already been laid by General Dynamics with the Abrams X Demonstrator, a prototype that incorporates many of the technologies expected to appear in the M1E3. The cost of developing and fielding the M1E3 will be significant, but the Army is betting that the investment will pay off in the long run. The Abrams tank has been the backbone of U.S. armored forces for over 40 years, and the M1E3 represents the next step in that legacy. By reducing the tank's weight, increasing its firepower, and enhancing its survivability, the M1E3 aims to remain the dominant force on the battlefield for decades to come. The M1E3 Abrams is more than just an upgrade. It's a complete overhaul of what a tank can be. With its hybrid electric drivetrain, advanced XM360 cannon, autoloader, active protection systems, and integration with autonomous systems, this tank is designed to dominate the future battlefield. The U.S. Army is looking to the lessons of recent conflicts and the challenges of modern warfare to build a tank that not only meets today's needs, but is prepared for the threats of tomorrow. As the M1E3 rolls off the production line in the coming years, it will carry with it the legacy of the Abrams while setting the standard for the next generation of armored warfare. 
Thanks for watching our video, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.